What's going on everyone? Ancap24 here from playbook.gg. And in today's video, we're gonna build off of the lead read option play that we showed you at a gun deuce close on yesterday's video. If you haven't already seen it, make sure you go to the end of the video and we'll have a uh, link that you can click on for you. Now, in that video, we showed you how to go ahead and beat a meta type of um, offense, I mean defense, when they set up a certain way in alignment. In today's video, we're gonna do the same thing and we're going to go after the meta that basically sends seven to eight players and really tries to send the house at you. And we're gonna show you a setup that we like to make them pay for so. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel and you wanna win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. All right, guys, so the meta we're gonna talk about is the, the pinch buck zero type blitzes where they're sending seven to eight players, they're mugging over the center and they're saying, you know what, block it, or and get really aggressive, right? So I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna call this play corner end goes, okay? It's a play that because of this formation has a really nice opportunity of blocking it and giving us a nice one-two option. Before I get any further, I wanna make sure that I show you that I did trade Devontae Adams to the uh, Ravens. And the reason why is I wanna showcase that the best way to beat this is if you have a double move um, specialist, basically on this type play because it is a double move. Devontae Adams has that, but he doesn't have a whole lot of speed. So I wanna make sure that you see that it's not really you know, a speed so that you need, just somebody that has that uh, um, opportunity. Now, before I get into the video, I want to make sure you know that Adams is not going to beat his man 100% of the time. It's more like, you know, right around that 50%. But we're going to give you a two-way option so that way if he doesn't get, uh, doesn't beat him, we can either run with our quarterback or throw an in route. And what we're going to do here is basically blitz everybody, press them until they get into the lanes. I'll go ahead and move this guy here. I'll blitz him as well just to make sure that he plays patty cake with that center. And I am going to be blitzing basically eight players across the board, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here with the um, offense is I'm going to take the A, which is the tight end, and delay Fayum, the Y, and delayed Fayum, okay? And what that basically does is allows for blocking without the players that are supposed to block them to blitz, okay? If you were to block those guys on occasion, those guys will green dog, and those guys will come in, and now you're going to get a nine-man blitz. That's not what you want. What we wanna do as well is put the X on a smart routed in to give us a little bit of a back um, option. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion out the B. Okay, so this is really the setup. And what you're gonna see here is that you're gonna be able to get this eight man blitz because you've got seven people up front plus your running back and you're really only sending two routes out. And the two routes that you're really looking for is the double move on the B and then obviously the X coming across, but we're going to use the quarterback's leg as our second option. So what you can see is we're gonna hike the ball. You can see that you can get to the outside. If your guy beats him over the top, you're gonna to throw it to him and you're gonna have the easy one play score. Now this is obviously best when you've got an escape artist dashing dead eye. I don't have dashing dead eye here on this example, but you can see what we're trying to do is I want you to make sure that you see all these guys came in, right? And we were able to block all eight, right? We got our, our, our running back as the extra person we're able to go across here and see how the double move specialist was able to beat um, Gilmore here, the best man coverage corner in the game. And like I said, that's going to be more like a 50-50 type deal. It's not going to happen every time. But if we didn't, look at all this room that we have with our uh, quarterback to run. Now, you're going to see this player right here. Chung, I think it is. Yeah, Chung. He is supposed to be covering the... Um, the, the uh, tight end, right? But because we have him on a delay fade, look what he does. He's just going to sit there flat-footed and he's going to wait for that delay fade. He is not going to come after the, the quarterback. That helps us when it comes to running this ball. We had all this room if we wanted to, okay? So I'm going to show it to you again. And it's basically, like I said, a three-way option, but it's really going to be a one-two um, using the X as just a opportunity. So we're going to blitz everybody, press them, and, you know, I'll play over the top coverage and then um, I'll go ahead and play um, outside coverage as well. And then I'm going to move this guy in. I'm going to blitz him. And then basically on offense, we're going to delay fade both our tight ends. X on a uh, smart routed in, move this guy over and we're good to go. Again, what we're going to try to do is we're going to read, does the B get open? Yes, let's bomb him. 
If not, we're going to run with our quarterback or throw it to the X. Here we see that we got this here. That's how we end up getting, uh, unfortunately, a guy comes through on a block shed, which will happen, guys. It's, it, this is Madden 20. You know, all the angles are not always going to work. I do feel that if you ID the uh, player, and I'll show you which one to ID, it does get a little bit better when it comes to um, getting the ability to block everybody. So let's do that here. So again here, and I haven't shown you the ID here. If I start seeing people get through, that's what I'll do. And it's the player above the right guard. So it's it's this one right here. If I ID him, it appears that it helps with basically um, lining up the blocks and allowing my running back to pick up a block rather than just sit there waiting for cleanup. Okay, so here, here you can see how I can get to the outside. We beat him. We're going to throw it over the top. And you can see here how we had on the run inaccurate. We're, we're talking about Lamar Jackson here, not a uh, Andrew Luck in Mutt. But what you're going to notice, though, and I want to make sure that you understand this, is that we're going to be able to block this really, really consistently. See how we were able to get everybody blocked, get to the outside, and we have a two-way option. We can either run it at this point, or when we see that our guy beats him, we're going to throw it over the top. So this is just another play to add into your arsenal when it comes to this formation. That's why I really like this formation, and we showed you the ability to run out of it. If people can't send the house at you, then that's really going to open up your lead read option that we showed you yesterday. We do have another play that we're going to show you tomorrow. If you guys um, you know, give us 100 likes on this video, I'll drop it as soon as I can. Um, to where we're going to show you a nice zone play that we do. So you're going to have a lead read option. We're going to have a zone play that we like. And then we're going to have the man uh, coming all out, you know, just as a three mini scheme play that you can kind of mix in with anything else that you like in the formation. So I just want to make sure that we do this. We're going to ID this player right here. And we're all set. And you can see here, we got everybody there. Does he beat him? He does it. Let's run. Right? And let's get down. Right? If you want to, you know, test your luck and try to do some moves or whatever, Great. If not, you can see we had a 20-yard run with Lamar. Um, that could be Andrew Luck. That could be basically any quarterback you want it to be that has escape artist um, that has that ability to get to the outside. So this is just kind of a play. I know it's not really um, much of a you know uh, a, a sexy type play. It's 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 by design to be able to pick up these guys that have a hard time. You know, a lot of times people have a hard time picking up these eight-man blitzes and um, give you a really nice risk reward, right? You block the blitz. If the guy's over the top, throw it. If the guy's not, you run with your quarterback or you hit the X coming across the middle. Um, something that, like I said, double move will definitely help you um, when it comes to the player on the right and escape artist as well. Two of those things, if you can put in your lineup for this, is going to help you immensely when going and trying to uh, beat this blitz with this play. Now, if you like this video, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.